Hello and welcome to this new video series on uh, speech recognition and uh, in this uh, video series we're going to be looking at uh, iOS's built-in framework uh, which is uh, called SF speech uh, and uh, it's basically uh, it's been around since iOS 10 and recently with recent iterations uh, especially after uh, iOS 14 it has become uh, really powerful um, the recognition part itself is a neural net based so it's actually um, it can recognize your speech and convert into text with uh, a really high efficiency and precious precision so what we're going to be doing in this video series is uh, we're going to be uh, learning about a speech framework and uh, we're gonna learn by building an app and uh, I thought it'll be actually a good um, uh, it'll be a good idea to build a speech to-do list and uh, in this speech to-do list we're gonna dictate the app what we want to uh, add into our to-do list and then we're gonna persist that into the uh, core data uh, data store and uh, then next time when you open your to-do list you're going to remember what it is now this is um, uh, this is something uh, that can be useful uh, for your day-to-day uh, -day life so feel free to use it okay and uh, we're also going to be um, we are going to be looking at a visual visualization uh, technique to basically uh, create a microphone of visualization so we're going to create a microphone monitor that's going to actually um, uh, see the pattern like you know and and sort of like you know draw the visualization on the screen when we speak so let me give you a demo of what we're talking about here and uh we're gonna see what all uh, we're gonna build so it looks very simple but it's actually there are a lot of components that are going into it so um so just uh, uh stay tuned for the entire video series and let's go ahead and check out the demo okay so i've got this uh uh, app running uh, this is going to be the final version of the app and we have a record uh, button so i'm going to tap on that and if you notice that there is a visualization graph here and if i don't speak it goes silent and when i start to speak it actually prints that or it actually shows the visualization now i'm going to stop and if you and if you notice that there is a visualization graph here and if i don't speak it goes silent when i start speak it actually prints that actually shows the visualization and i'm gonna stop so it's so accurate like you know it, it says it it reads exactly what uh, i just said so uh the amazing part is that it uh it actually it could understand and uh, you saw how fast it actually um, interpreted and translated uh, the whole the entire speech uh, like it was a long phrase and it could actually um, uh, translate or transcribe the entire um, entire speech into uh, the text so that is the most amazing part about this framework okay and this is what we're going to be building so let's take a look at another one more example a short one get milk there you go uh, wash the car record a new video series on speech recognition i'm going to talk some gibberish here full stop put a comma there okay so i just wanted to show you like you know that there are a few things that you can actually sort of depending upon uh how how you're talking and like it's it's understanding um basically you can say stuff you can say stuff like full stop and you can say comma but here for the speech engine it did not make sense to put like you know a comma right next to the full stop so it put like you know some filler words there because it thought that i said but comma there so i said comma there right so but comma there so um but i guess i probably missed it but 
you're going to notice like, you know, if you want to put punctuations and everything, you can put that uh, as well. Uh, place a pound sign and uh, a hash sign. Let's see. So play the pound sign. Okay, it didn't interpret that. And a hash sign. So that was actually, okay. Uh, I think it takes, do you understand exclamation mark? Yeah, there you go. So do you understand exclamation mark? So um, you can try out a lot of things. Like I said, like, you know, it's very smart, like, you know, the way it interprets. Now, as far as the functionality for the app goes, we're going to have um, uh, a list that's going to list out all the things that we have actually um, that we have said or recorded. And you can kill the app you can launch it back again and it's going to persist that data because we are storing that data into uh, the core data and uh, you can basically delete items so just clean up your to-do list when you're done with that and uh, yeah and uh, then you can have like you know regular stuff like you know record button the visualization part stop button speech management itself and microphone management and everything okay so that is what is coming up uh for this this uh speech uh to-do list uh video series so stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next video where we're gonna be starting uh we're gonna basically build this entire app out okay i'll see you guys in the next video thank you